This is a sight that no farmer wants to see as these tiny pests have a big impact on both the quality and quantity of the cotton crop. And up until recently, they have been mostly contained to one area of the state. We tend to deal with white flies on a more frequent basis in uh, what we call our historical core areas. And those are typically areas where we produce both cotton as well as vegetables. Um, and the reason we have white flies in those areas, we basically have cultivated crops where white flies can reproduce and survive 12 months out of the year. However, that isn't the case this year as white flies have spread throughout South Georgia due to certain weather conditions. The winter coming into 2020 uh, was very mild. We only had six days below freezing here in Tifton. Uh, and that's another factor of why we tend to have more of a problem this year. It's nowhere near the outbreak that we saw in 2017. Uh, but white flies have spread out of this core area into some of our other cotton producing counties in South Georgia. With that in mind, growers are encouraged to get out into their fields early and often to prevent them from becoming a major problem. You have to scout and it's important that you know white flies are there. When white flies are present, they should influence every decision we make uh, because when white flies are present, we need to conserve beneficial insects to help us. So we only want to spray other pests when we absolutely have to, like stink bugs, for example. So we need to be managing white flies, monitoring white flies, basically until every leaf has dropped off that plant when we defoliate the cotton. And once the problem is detected, timely management is essential if you want to get the most out of your crop. Where we were late with our treatment or haven't treated at all, we see what I call a general leaf decline, where the leaves just start changing to a darker color, a brownish color. Uh, we see some splotchiness of the leaves and ultimately those leaves will drop from the plant. The other thing we'll see when white flies are bad is the accumulation of honeydew. That's an excretion from these white flies. It's a sugary excretion. Uh, that can accumulate on the leaves when you have sooty mold to, so the leaves will turn black. That is something we don't want to accumulate on the lint itself. With the pickers and balers set to start up in the coming months, Robert suggests that farmers with a white fly problem get their cotton out of the field as soon as possible. I want to encourage our growers, especially where white flies are present, to defoliate this crop and pick it in a very timely manner. Uh, we know there are a lot of advantages to harvesting cotton in a timely manner just from quality and yield preservation, but when white flies are present, the sooner we defoliate, the sooner we eliminate that risk of white flies impact and fiber quality. Reporting from Tift County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.